Oh, he pulls back in. Ah! Why do you have the worst? Let's go action, Hammer! So a little over a year ago, we moved into the shop. I had grandiose plans to get this place optimized and organized. And pretty much the only thing I got done was the outfeed table. Uh, I love this thing. So what better time than now to get my miter saw situation fixed and uh, build something that's actually a little more functional than this super sad setup I have right now. So I got a pretty good plan that I came up with. It's super versatile. I'm gonna get a ton of storage, in feed, out feed, no more of the common miter saw station issues will exist anymore. And um, it's gonna be freaking awesome. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is build the carcasses for the bottom. But before I cut anything, to make sure I'm properly awesome. Check. Check. Let's do this. We're gonna measure our tops after because I made a little de-boo-boo -boo that I'm gonna have to fix. I'm taping all the, uh, the base panels together because I gotta make similar notches in all of them. So the plywood isn't actually three quarters of an inch. So if you're referencing the plan here, it'll, it'll have a three quarter inch relief. Little tip, if you want it to be tight height, use your plywood for reference and make the same measurement. Very nice. This is called edge banding. I'm melting. Oh. That's what the glue's saying, because it's melting, Sam. Can you freaking smile? God. That was hilarious. Just gonna wind myself up in my new hose. Jet sent us over a sweet new compressor, so Sam and I hooked it up with this crazy cool system. And so now I'm gonna use this crazy cool system and I'm gonna tack <clears throat> all the carcasses together with brad nails and then I'll come back and reinforce them with screws. It'll help me keep everything aligned. It'll, it'll make it go much faster. I don't know, how do I wanna start? I know now. Well, Sam, I'm trying to watch my figure, so that's out of the question. Unlike you, I don't get to go through life being skinny, having it easy. Every day's a struggle when you're fat and stupid. I licked a lemon, and then I yelled at it to curb my hunger. Yeah? You ever done that? No. Chocolate ice cream tastes like Frosty. It was awesome. <laughs> I would hit you. I would physically hit. I'd physically harm you right now if I could. If HR wasn't so up my butt these days. If you didn't know, Duke and Hank are HR. If you are going to go tax city before you screw, be sure to give enough spread on your nails so you can fit the screws between your nails. Click it in there. Oh, click it so good. So the base cabinet carcasses are finished, identical, minus I didn't put a bottom plate in this side because I realized it was a complete and utter waste. So what we're gonna build next is a really fancy platform for the saw. I've got a cool idea to create like a downdraft table on this thing. 
Mm, you don't need some crazy tools, so let's cut some plywood. Now that I got all those slots cut, we're gonna cut this to shape and build the bottom box. So I'm gonna put the miters all together first with some Collins clamps. These, if you haven't watched my videos where I'm using these, these are phenomenal for trim work and miter work and what the pros use. So we're gonna use some tight bond quick and thick get these set together and then I will fasten it to the top from the top over the top what it's so quick it's so thick this stuff sets in like 15 minutes that's for trim carpentry or overall shenanigans which is what we do here Try to be smart and put our drawer slides in before the cabinets go up. That way I don't have to crawl on the floor because I hate crawling on the floor. You should pre drill these, but I lost my VIX bit, so we're just going to do that. We're gonna run our dust collection from left to right underneath or through the back of these cabinets. So I'm gonna put a hole in here before we put them in so that way I don't have to crawl on the ground because I hate being on the ground. So we've got the base cabinets of the station done, got all the drawer slides in. Now we need to start building up. So let's build some cubbies. I forgot I have a miter station, so I'm gonna use it. Similar concept to before. Glue. Brad. 
not Rodriguez. Then we'll come back and do the screws. So we're just gonna staple the back on. You can, I've got extra plywood laying around. So we're gonna use that up first. But if you, you can also, cut, you can cut these to be perfectly sized. All work well. Blurp. 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 Sound effects included. Blurp. Slide. So I was in the office playing with my computer, and Sam took the liberty and justice for all. So while I was in the office working on some stuff, Sam got the dust collection wrapped up as well as uh, the parts cut for the hood. Now we're gonna put the little backer board idea concept thingamajig that I'm kind of making up on the go in. I was originally gonna use one quarter inch plywood, but my stack of plywood came with this really bendable garbage stuff that we're gonna use first because it bends a lot better. So we're gonna cut a piece and then we're gonna try to form it in there. Whee! Ah! All right, so this is this was my vision. My vision. Is it your dream? I mean, it's close, right? Or ah! oh, son of a bitch! Give me a drink. It's time to get squirrely. So, Sam and I are going to. I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna bend this up into this cavern here, hold it, and then Sam's gonna buzz a few screws in. Buzz. Good. What we gotta concern ourselves with is go through. All this is trying to do is just deflect the dust down. If you lose a finger, you lose a finger. Good. Sacrifices need to be made. All right, washers. That, don't use that screw, use those, the bugles. All right, let me find other washers. Take three. She'll work. 
probably better to have a bigger fender washer sometimes. I thought they made car parts. New whole new me. Holding itself like a like a big boy. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. That we almost did. works. Wow. And we've done it. I kinda like the little play a beat on it so we work That's actually quite awesome. <laughs> Ever make something expecting it to be terrible and it's not? Now all we gotta do is take it down and plug the saw back in. Oh, it pulls back in. Well, like my father used to tell me playing sports, when you suck, you suck. And this thing sucks. And it's not the kind of suck that we want. So I gotta sleep on it and see if I can figure out a way to fix this. <laughs> There's nothing better than talking to your phone while you're getting filmed. Filmception. So I've picked all the wood for all the hardwood parts. Now we gotta join them, straighten them, cut some handles, cut some grooves, sand them. God, it just never ends. Let's go. So we're gonna make a little template for all of our door pulls. Cut those, then we'll cut our joiner. This is basically what she's gonna look like. Find my middle mark here, and then we'll go three inches on each side. So we're gonna cut the template on the bandsaw. You can also use a jigsaw. Ironically, this is the first ever Jet tool that I ever purchased. And by the way, this video is sponsored by Jet. If you wanna see any of the tools I'm using, they are all linked down below. out the old spindly bindly here. This thing is really gonna be small. This thing is sweet. To give us a perfectly flat bottom, I'm gonna plunge the blade up through this board. Be careful if you wanna try this. So the router table broke, which means on to plan B. We're gonna do these by hand with the templating bit. Stay safe, America.
back and reinforcing the screw. Brand new drum sander from Jet. This thing is a huge. It's got an oscillating head, 22, 44. Really neat. Let's go. The carcasses are done. I'm going to take these down and I'm going to put a real edge banding on them because I absolutely hate the way they look with the exposed plywood. I don't know why it's just like boiling my blood. And I don't love this flimsy edge banding. Um, yeah, so just got to take the whole puzzle down. So, in our quest to hide this terrible plywood, we decided we wanted to try to make a nicer edge here because this is going to be a, a wear point where you know, we're going to be banging and clanging and ruining this. So we made this. I whipped this up real quick out of some scrap maple that we had laying around. This first drawer is two and three quarters inches from center down with this little space in here at the top. So we're gonna put the first slide in and then measure it. Okay. All right, kids, so these are like this close to being done. All we've gotta do is fit the doors, um, fit the hardware for the doors, and then get them all in spray, hung back up on the wall. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. And here's how I'm gonna do it. This is an edge sander. It sands edges. <clears throat> Wild, crazy technology here. The bell just spins and it's gonna give me an opportunity with this 90 degree rest to literally just take a shrink off, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, make sure I get the perfect fit that I want for my doors. So you're probably wondering to yourself, John, why are you putting finish on shop furniture? One thing I've learned is that things get destroyed in my shop and not having shop, or excuse me, not having finish on something, um, the moisture actually in the shop has affected it in the past. So that is why we're putting finish on this. Also, we're gonna be doing another set of cabinets along the back wall and we're gonna be doing a full timber frame remodel back there. So if you, Want to make sure you don't miss that one? You got to hit that subscribe and that bell icon to get notified. That is definitely our next project on the docket. And if Sam and I both don't die, this damn flu going around should be coming your way pretty soon. Make sure you're subscribed. The dust is still going to go everywhere. This is going to piss me off. I'm pretty good. I look better than before. Much better than before. Stop lock. I mean, you could see it going back in. Oh no, I'm gonna say it's a damn win. W. So for the most part, it's it's pretty much what we wanted and what we expected. We were just looking to get some sort of uh, suction going back and down. Uh, a lot of people run dedicated 
dust collection to the saws. That's what this port's for, but it's still inherently really not good on this saw specifically. I know the DeWalt has a lot better ones, so does the Capex. Um, but I'm gonna call it a wrap on that. We might put something in here, uh, that magnets in and out kind of thing uh, to solve our particular problems. But all in all, I'm super happy with it. If you guys like this project, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe and that bell notification. I've also got a plan available for this whole thing a link down below. I'm probably gonna run this thing on sale for the first month that I've got the, the, uh, the plan available when this video drops. Um, and yeah, oh, and lastly, thank you Jet for sponsoring this build. Um, as you guys saw, I was using a bunch of Jet woodworking and a little bit of metalworking tools. This thing came together sweet, um, love it. It's gonna really improve our workflow. This is really long-winded. I'm gonna shut up. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next video.